So we have a million SKUs that we sell Fanatics, and, and it's from a, the most entry-level T-shirt to the highest-end sweater to you know a, an arcade game to a couch. I mean, that's the whole point of what we do is to have the most broad assortment so that any fan can get anything they want anytime. Any business has never been better, and you were right about the NFL. It's it's really all that. It's one of the you know there's some other things working on on I, TV. I appreciate but you acknowledging yeah, that. Yeah, there's some yeah. other things on TV working, but NFL's working. It, it, it's working great. I'll tell you, our business this year. So I just looked at the, at the numbers this morning. We're up. Uh, for Thanksgiving weekend, we're up 25% against big numbers last year. So I'd say sales are incredible. But NFL is actually outperforming that. So NFL has been great. Okay, so I want to know about the customer acquisition cost right now yeah. in this environment. Are you? Is it social media for you? Is it? You have a, probably a lot of people who are just Googling certain certain teams and things and finding you there. Yeah. But I assume then you're paying you're paying Google for that too. We, look, we spend a lot of money on marketing. Right. Our marketing costs continue to get more efficient each year. What's different this year from previous years is social paid social media is really working. So that's a double digit percentage of our revenue this year. Last year it was very small. In the What's year before the budget it was look like in terms of how you how how you divvy up the money between a Facebook. Even within Facebook, Facebook, Instagram yeah. versus Twitter versus Google versus. Yeah, so if I keep it real, I'd say the two big spends would be um, Facebook for Facebook and Google. And I'd say um, two. No, years, Instagram, two, nothing. It's growing quickly, but still very, relatively snap, small. Snap, nothing? Very small. Very, and very small. Twitter, zero. Correct. Okay. I mean, maybe, but, but so between the two, what's really interesting is two years ago it was mostly Google and very little Facebook, and now. Facebook's as big or bigger than Google. So both are performing really well, but it's not a world of Google's dominating anymore. It's really diversified and split between the two. Hey, Michael, let me ask you, the, the stocks of all the broadcasters, the, the companies that actually have the rights to broadcast NFL right now, were hit recently on a report that Amazon is going to be getting into the bidding to try and buy more sports rights and the sports networks. Yeah. Um, does it matter to you if the NFL is actually broadcast or if it was done exclusively on an Amazon or another website? Yeah, I, I, so I've been firm for the last several years that my thesis is that you, traditionally you've had five broadcasters that have bid for rights and going forward you're gonna have the digital guys all enter. So you've gone from five guys to 10 guys that are gonna be bidders for the rights. I think Amazon's done a great job with uh, the Thursday night package. I think that's kind of been their test. Everything I'm hearing is they're really excited about how they can grow with the NFL. I'm hearing the same things out of some of the other big digital media companies. So I think as we look forward when the new TV deals come up, I think you're going to see the digital media players be a major player for those rights. So I think there is risk to the, to the traditional guys. They're never going to go away, but I think they're going to have a small set of rights going forward. How does it matter just from the viewer experience or yeah, from the fan it, experience? It, it matters for us, to be honest. We're a big proponent of the, the, the more distribution, the more games that get out there, the more fans, the better it is. So we, what we really want is the games distributed to as many people as possible. That's how you really get more fans. So a digital platform around the world can get you but more fans. But what about what might be described as integrated retail? So if Google starts broadcasting football yeah. or Amazon yeah. starts broadcasting football, it could be great for you in some ways, but also could be more complicated for you in other ways. Yeah, I think it's only great for us. I mean, most of what we sell, and this is what people, you have to keep reminding yourself, most of what we sell is exclusive. You have the to, license. To, yeah, else can it's, do it's it. exclusive to us. And if you go to Amazon that you keep talking about, you can't find 90% of what we sell at Amazon because it's exclusive to right. our sites online. But so why wouldn't for, they eventually get into the bidding rights for your licenses, too? You know, our business is so complicated. We have 8,000 full-time employees that design, develop, manufacture the merchandise. It's just it's so complicated. We have a million Michael, SKUs. I love you, but that's what people used to say about these other businesses. Yeah. They used to say, this is, we're, spe too. we're specialized. We know how to do TV. Then Amazon says, we don't care whether we know yeah. how to do TV. We can buy that. Yeah. So, I, look, we, we believe strongly that the digital... Uh, companies are going to be great for us selling more merchandise and expanding the pool of customers. And we believe what we do is very um, complicated. I mean, if you think about, we have you know warehouses all through the world. We have manufacturing all through the world. We have again, it's just a very complicated who, business. Who, who, oh, okay, the, they're, they're playing us out. I need to just ask you who you got. You're 14 and, and eight now. Uh, you're the first player, second player. You're, you're, you're doing well. The 76ers. Who are you afraid of? Right now, who's who is the other teams that they're, they're worried about? Well, I'm about? a very paranoid individual, so I'd, You're be, afraid afraid, of I'd be afraid of the other 29 teams. And by the way, we showed that when we lost against the Cavs on, right. on uh, now, Friday you know night. The, the, I, I said, I said, I was joking with the guys before the game. You know, we haven't lost at home since March of last year, and the Cavs have the worst record in the NBA. <laughs> and of course, what happened? The Cavs look at us as it's our Super Bowl. They play 
up to us. You know, I don't and, have a and, team. I mean, I like the 76ers, but the Bucks too. And I'm, you know, I know Edens and Lazary too. So you're closer. You have an advantage with me. If and, I and I, you keep trying to show your loyalty, and then you try to take it back away. Well, we, I just, we need you to get a Sixers tattoo <laughs> okay. to show your real loyalty to us. That's the.